Alrighty. So I am progressing. Um, so here's here's what I started with. And that comes in the kit that you buy from MTM. Along with the programming, it's a pickaxe, so this is virtually useless without the programming. Which I'm not going to video because in all fairness to the good folks down at MTM. Now what it doesn't come with is a PCB layout. So then it, I went into EagleCAD and I come up with it's basically that there. Now that sort of grew into this. I suppose I should have this the other way around. Sorry. And that sort of grew into this, which then went into Adobe for further uh, fixing, including removing shorts in those big pads. And that all grew up to be this and you can see how I've worked those pads you can see they're they're good for a lot of current and that's what I meant by flyouts okay so the actual pins of the relay are central to those flyouts and then the flyouts all connect. Now one of the reasons why I did that is I'm not entirely confident that I got it right. And that's why I put those in the first one that I built. And I leave them long because I could cut any one of those in half, let's say, and change a connection from one to the to the next. Twist them together with marettes and I'd be back in business because that's 14 gauge wire so it's going to conduct a lot of current. Eh? So over here, this is just my own design of an L LM317 power supply for, for the uh, pickaxe that's going to go in there. And that worked out not too bad as far as the, um, the solder connections for the, for the pickaxe. They're not bad. Those bits of black that you see on there that's the carbon from the um, laser printer that I didn't manage to get off. It's not totally essential that you get every last bit. So this is where my power comes in basically. And uh, it's 14 gauge. So all my power is either 14 gauge or thick laden solder. So. Although my relays are only 5 amp anyways, which is unfortunate. When I designed this, I thought I had 8 or 10 amp relays, but I don't. I only have 5 amps. But that's 5 amps at 30 VDC, so I could probably push it 6 or 7 amps on 12 volts. 60 or 70 watt motors. And that's probably going to be okay because I'll probably have some gear ratio figured out anyway and uh, I'm not too sure how big of an array I'm gonna spin and this is just my first one anyway so this is just a proto to see if we can get it working of course that heat sinks way bigger than it needs to be just happened to be what I had lying around I grabbed it and threw it on there and I knew it was gonna go high up with those wires anyway so it's looking pretty good it's coming together Alright, thanks for watching.